Packet pickup for us has become one of the easiest things we do, and of course, traditionally, it's one of the hardest things that you do as race director, race managers, timers. But our volunteers and our workers now are so adept at using race day check-in that we dynamically assign bibs every time, and it's just such a smooth process. It's much quicker than pulling a bib out by name and then formulating a little packet. In our lines, we have people walk up and they're immediately, they know to tell you their last name. And we're finding it, assigning them a bib. They're in and out, it's quick, it's efficient. And one thing that works really well for us is because we integrate everything with Finish Links and IPCO, is that we actually end up with a start list that's accurate. We know who picked up their bibs, so therefore they should be in the race, as opposed to the unpicked ups. So we have a list that's populated inside finish links that shows everybody that should be there. So we know who should be finishing, particularly in like trail races where you're worried about people still being on the course. It really helps us quite a bit to have an accurate start list. Race Day Check-In app and bib management are extremely easy to use. You can teach someone to use it in minutes. Now, we, we fortunately for us, we generally have the same race crew almost all the time. But we have we might put a dozen people out there with phones or tablets, and their training period on them was almost nothing. It just makes for a very smooth flow. One thing that DC timing is big on is is we we feel like we try to be a green initiative in everything that we do. We're solar powered on all of our timing trailers, and we, we try to get away from printing anything that we can, so obviously online results are a big deal for us. So one thing that Race Day Check-In does for us is gives us the ability to not label bibs, so we don't have to print all those labels and stick them all, you know, days before. We don't have to label packets. You know, usually we, in the past, the method for that is time-consuming, but it's also really wasteful just wasting and consuming when we don't need to. And what we do now through the suite of products is we create a little packet as we go and print as little as possible. So we kind of try to reduce our footprint.